What is going on everyone? It is Super here and I'm bringing you guys my first official Combat Pack 2 gameplay video and you guys know on day one I went absolutely ham. I actually worked my ass off to bring you guys as much content as I could uploaded a bunch of videos so if you guys missed any of those make sure you guys go check them out uh, but today what I want to do is actually go into training mode with each individual characters from Combat Pack 2 and just show you guys some stuff that I've learned um, over the past three days because I did get the game early and the way I got it early is pretty much a shop here in Los Angeles where I used to get um, Call of Duty early from like way back in the day. Still, you know, sells games early. So, you know, I was lucky enough to be able to get a PS4 copy of Mortal Kombat XL. And, um, you know, the game is different, and I'll explain to you guys, uh, you know, how different it is. But, of course, we have to start off with my boy, my boy, my boy, my boy, Triborg. And I said my boy four times. I believe I said it four times because there's four fucking variations in this character. And all four of them play pretty much different from the other, which is amazing, man. It's like we got seven fucking characters in one combat pack, so... Let's pick him. Uh, I'm going to go with Sector because he is my favorite character of all time. So let's get into it. I'm going to go another Triborg here. And let's actually go Cyber Sub. Let's go the default color for Triborg, Cyber Sub. Uh, you know, a lot of people are playing on the pit. So you guys don't need to see me on the pit, right? Because it's, it's really dark. Like for videos, I really don't like the pit for videos. Visually, it's amazing. But for videos, I really don't like it. So... Let's go in here. Let's go into the refugee camp here. Nice stage, nice and lit. I think we'll be able to see both characters very well. Um, let me know what you guys think though. Do you guys think the pit is like too dark for videos or do you think it's completely fine? I think for playing it, it's just absolutely amazing because it looks awesome. So, all right, so here we go. Um, this is technically my first like training session with them. Not necessarily, um, uh, it, it's because the way XL worked on the physical disc was an old version of the game. Even though all characters were in the game, the characters were significantly different than what they are now after the March 1st patch. And let me explain, explain to you guys like the, the biggest difference. Uh, you guys might be seeing some combo videos on different channels that were posted a little bit before the game came out of people doing this multiple times and you could still do that but before it was crazy you could actually get this you know five times in the corner let's see let me just show you guys so you could juggle you know this juggles and this is like the primary combo extender and you could juggle them twice now three times if you get the timing down right there you go timing is a little bit hard but before you could get it five times and you know the damage wouldn't scale so you would go up to 40 percent meterless um <clears throat> almost 50 percent combos with one bar you know it's pretty stupid and now they toned that down so the most you could get mid-screen is two you can get three in some situations but it's mostly two if you just land a neutral jump punch and if you do it in a combo it's most likely going to be one unless you're cyber uh, smoke smoke could actually get two. it is a tight link um, but we'll get to it when we get to the character so you know technically I'm still learning with you guys these new characters because I specifically did not play Triborg too much because I knew he was gonna get changed and he's pretty much the character that got changed the most um, all right so let's get started here uh, Triborg um, at least a sector variation I guess all the variations have a lot of really good buttons um, they have a lot of good combos. They have a lot of good specials. Just the character in general is very good. And I'm going to talk about each individual, you know, variation. So Sector here, uh, standing one is seven frames. And it has a pretty good amount of range, right? This is definitely his best punish. You know, you uh, you block one of your opponent's moves. You could do one, one, four. And that launches him. And then so if this is a punish, one, one, four into teleport very very good to punish you could easily get you know some good meterless damage here wow, I was trying to do the old combo all right some 30% meterless off of punish is pretty good so you know standing one is definitely gonna be your punish um, back one let's see back one is the overhead this is the only overhead combo starter that 
Triborg has. Um, he does have lows, um, as you guys see that one. He has this one right here. Um, he has forward one two, or forward one three that uh, you know goes from a high to a low. But as far as overheads, this is the only combo starter, which is 18 frames. It is only minus one, which is good. But 18 frames is pretty slow. But if your opponent is not expecting it, you know, you might catch him with it. And it's also very good for low to overhead situations with uh, like the Cyrac variation and Cyber Sub variation, which I'll talk about. Um, but the back one actually goes into a grab and that does 50%, 15% damage by itself. Um, it's back one, two plus four, and this is actually a very good combo ender because, um, you know, it does solid amount of damage, and uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a nice way to end your combo if you don't, you know, have an idea or you think the gravity is going to make the person fall really fast. This is going to catch them all the time, so that's definitely pretty good there. Um, forward one. Forward one has really good range. Look at this. Forward advancing. It is a high. This would be crazy if it was a, a mid and pretty funny because um a lot of moves that tribrook has um i believe that was a mid pre-patched um let's see uh forward four this was eight frames before now it's 10 frames you know it's just tribrook and the other characters were pretty stupid before the patch but uh, i'm not gonna go too much into that but this is a good move let's see what combos go from that okay so from the forward one which is eight frames and it has a really good range look it goes character length you know if you catch your opponent whiffing a special whiffing a grab whiffing a command grab something like that you could easily go into that and uh you know punish okay ah there you go um I'm just showing you guys like the, the most basic combos. And as you guys see, I don't have much time with the game, so I'm still like kind of struggling with these. You could, you know, keep a simple and just go for that 6% uh, less. You could do a lot more than that, obviously, which I'll, I'll try to show you guys. Um, it also leads to this right here, which you could two and one cancel it. You know, you could do your up rockets after that for to go for pressure, you know, run in. I say cancel after the last hit. There you go. See, you can go for pressure after that. So, you know, forward one, three, one is a good string. Forward one, three is a good string because, uh, you know, it goes into a low. You know, it's just a solid string. So definitely use that because it is an eight frame startup move. And uh, forward one is only minus one, which is very nice. So moving on here to the down poke. Uh, down one is seven frames, which is nice. Nice to, you know, get out of pressure situations. Um, you know, typical to a lot of characters in the cast. Now they uh, they have at least a seven frame, um, seven frame or faster poke now, which you know it's pretty good. It gives uh, characters who didn't, who aren't really fast, you know, uh, fast pokes to get out of pressure situations. So down one, definitely nice to have a seven frame down one. Next up here, standing two is plus one, very nice. So standing two has a good amount of range. You know, it goes into this goes into that and that leads into you know um, combos and uh, let's see how what's the frame data okay so you could either stagger just standing one which is uh, plus one or you could stagger two one which is plus two which is very good man look at that that's plus two and then you're at range to do your forward one which is eight frames and being plus two you know it makes your forward one six frames so there's a lot of frame traps that you can go for with Triburg. like i said he has very good buttons you know being plus two after this is very nice and keep in mind if you are going to do this the last one which is uh two one two into you know some sort of string there is a gap in between you know like for example i do this into rocket there is a gap right there if the person is blocking so he's going to be able to armor through that but you know it's a nice to confirm you could do a lot of things with it whoa he he went up higher than i thought let's just keep it simple here as you guys see 28% for one bar you could definitely get a lot more than that by the way but you know just showing you guys you could hit confirm off that you could go for pressure as well 
you know, it's just a good string. And of course, 2 1 plus 2, you could stagger this, you know what I mean? Stagger this, going for a grab, stagger this, down poke. I think he's out of range. Well, I mean, if if he blocks it, then you're obviously going to be in range, you know. So, just overall, really good string. Moving on here, good string and good button. 10 frame only, which is uh, very good, even though it is a high, but it still, you know, leads into a good string. Uh, back two, this is actually the character or the variation specific back two. Uh, you know, all the variations for Tribe would have that. And Sectors, I believe this was in Mortal Kombat 9, and this has a ton of range. You could two and one cancel it. Very nice to have. Um, you're definitely going to want to 2-in-1 cancel this because uh, this is minus 11 if the opponent blocks it, which is uh, definitely not good. So, you know, you cancel into that, you cancel into EX, get a nice combo afterwards. If you do hit confirm it, um, you know, you could cancel into flamethrower. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do. You, you could obviously cancel into the upshots, and if you hit the opponent, you, know, you can go for a combo. So... This is very good. 14 frames is not bad, especially for having this this amount of range. It's pretty fucking good, man. And you can 2 one cancel it. It's just really, really good. So moving on to forward two. This is 14 frames. This is a mid as well. This used to be like 12 frames. Um, and as you guys see, character length, pretty much a forward advancing mid, which is nice. Nice to have. Let's see what strings lead into that. Forward two. That's not a low, that's a mid. Can 2 and 1 cancel that. Okay, you can 2 and 1 cancel that. And it's minus 8. Eh, it's not that good. There's definitely a lot. Oh, he has this string right here. Move backwards. Alright, so he has that string to, to keep that safe. Um, and the input for that is 212 and then you press back back and it's already plus two um, And actually the the regular one if you do it without backing up is um, Minus 11, but if you back up then you're gonna be plus two, which is very nice to have um, You do lose uh, half your meter bar as you guys see because you are back dashing um, But to get out of situation a situation uh, in which your opponent is blocking, you know, it's definitely nice to have so Moving on here to Tribers down 2. It's not bad. It does have shit recovery, but, you know, it's a pretty good anti-air. Definitely use that. Uh, standing 3 is 9 frames, and it is plus 2. Another button that you could put that's, or that you could use that's really good for Tribor. You know, you do that. That's plus 2. And I, if your opponent blocks it, you're going to be in range of this. That's plus 2. And then you can go for 4 or 1. You know, it's just, he has a lot of really good buttons, man. So... That's definitely one that you're going to want to use. All right, so this is low starter. Um, you're going to be seeing a lot of people use this. Back three is 11 frames. It leads to back three up four that launches your opponent. Of course, you get two and one cancel that. And it also leads to um, that move right there, which is, let's see, what is that? Low, low overhead. You cannot two and one cancel that. Um, but it's still, you know, a low, low overhead. And the way you do that is uh, back three, down four. And back three, down four. And then up two, is it? Let's see. Let's just check. You could, there's a way to make a safe. Okay. There you go. So if you do this string and your opponent blocks it, you're unsafe. I think it is minus, yeah, it's minus 12. So if you go for back three, down four, low, low overhead then you are not safe but if you finish the string and you do back three down four up four that is minus five so you are completely safe actually minus six so you're completely safe and you know if you if it connects it does 15 percent it's still low low overhead into a mid you know and then you're safe it does not have a gap in it i believe it does not have a gap in it unless they change that uh slide slide and strike let's see all right Whoops, wrong move. Yeah, as you guys see, you're completely safe. It's definitely really good to throw out there. It's really good to just throw out there because 15% uh, if it hits, safe if your opponent blocks it, you know, it's it's a good move. Um, let's see. Forward three, okay. So this move right here, this move right here, man. Oh my God. 
it, it does have its uses if you're gonna whiff punish your opponent or if you're trying to catch him off guard but before the march first patch you could actually two and one cancel this that means you could do a special move afterwards and now you cannot as you guys see i'm inputting the move it's not coming out and it kind of sucked because this was a good armor breaking setup you do this into uh your meter burn missiles and it would actually break kung lao's armor and a lot of armor i guess that was too strong uh, but you know as a triborg player i would have loved for that to stay i don't see myself ever using this move to be honest with you guys really like it's not worth it it's minus 12 it only does five percent you can't two and one cancel it might as well use this look at the range on this full character length so don't use forward three unless someone finds a good use for it um, so down three is eight frames only minus three it's a pretty good poke uh, standing four this is gonna be your combo extender right here uh, like I was telling you guys you do this and then you could do a standing four as you guys see 37% for one bar that's more of a you know bread and butter with one bar it's pretty good it could go up to 40% uh, depending on what you do I believe 39 and 40% somewhere around there uh, but as you guys see you know this actually launches your opponent so that means you could continue your combo which is really nice to have man and <laughs> like I said before you could do in this combo in this specific combo you were able to do that twice so you do that run up a little bit do it again and then you do this and then of course you do that again um you do uh, four into flame and that would that was a bunch of damage so they definitely toned down the amount of times that you could get this now you could only get it twice mid screen you used to be able to get it three times mid screen so all those combos that you guys see with standing four hitting like five times those are old combos. Those are pre-March 1st, pre-MKXL patch combos. As you guys see, you might be able to get it three times. But it's very hard. And it's inconsistent. You don't want to do that. You know, you want to do the guaranteed thing. Alright, so standing four, very good. And if your opponent blocks it, you know, you're plus two. Why not do it? And this is also good anti -er. You know, if your opponent... Uh, jumps at you and you get a read on him you could do this run up and do it again you know it's, it's just very good it's 11 frames it's pretty fast um his sweep is actually safe okay so tribor sweep is safe on block which is nice not a lot of sweeps are actually safe um forward four all right so this is your 10 frame forward advancing mid very good guys this is very good um you know it it does go into this, which your opponent can armor through it. And if it hits, you know, if your opponent respects it and it hits, it is plus two. Um, but I believe they could duck it. Let me see. I know you could um, you could just armor through it. And if he does, if I put him into the slide, it won't even finish the string. Like, he's going to slide under it. As you guys see, you could easily armor through it. You know, if you have someone like Kung Lao, he's going to eat that up immediately. So this is more good for hit confirming and punishing. Um, you know, maybe your opponent does an unsafe move, but it pushes you back a little bit. This is a forward advancing 10th frame mid. So, you know, that leads into this, which is uh, probably his most damaging uh, combo starter uh, because it doesn't scale too much. As you guys saw, I did two of those in one combo and it was completely fine. It was 37 percent, um, you know, so you definitely want to do that. You, know, you can do it multiple times. It doesn't scale as much as, you know, like starting with a jab or something like that. So that's definitely nice to have uh, 10 frame forward and advancing mid very very good um so his down three is 13 frames minus two all right so you don't want to do that uh you want to use down three it's faster you know it has the same amount of range pretty much so you know you can use down four if you want because well, actually it's plus 13 it's a lot less plus than the other uh down four so uh that's it for his buttons guys um so let me show you guys what you want to do with Sector, at least from, you know, me playing or just playing in training mode. Um, his projectiles are really fast. This is really fast. It was a lot faster before, but, you know, obviously they don't want it to be, like, too strong. Um, this is pretty good, but it, it scales your damage a lot. And sometimes it is actually hard to hit confirm, you know, off this. Especially off this combo. 
Um, what, what was the combo? I think it was this one. I guess it's not, not really hard to hit confirm it. But, you know, it, it, it scales your combo a lot because it's a lot of hits. You know, if you're going to do something, might as well go for, um, might as well do that and then, you know, do standing four into a teleport. Um, so, you can do this if you want. You know, it looks fucking sick. I'm definitely going to be doing that. Um, it's a good way to end your combos if... But I, I believe that most of the strings into that have a gap in it. It is plus 23, which, you know, like I said, doesn't really matter because any combo into that has a gap in it now. Uh, let's see. Let's test that out, actually. Let's see. Okay. Never mind. That didn't have a gap? Okay. So this one, if you finish the whole string, you actually... Are you plus on block? You can do stuff, okay. You definitely cannot jump in or anything. It does push your opponent away really far. But, if you do this string, you could actually finish it off with the EX Rockets and make it completely safe, which is nice. Um, yeah, so 114 actually has a gap. It is plus two, but it has a gap. I forgot to mention that. Um, what other strings does he use? Forward four into that? Let's see. Yeah, forward four into that has a gap. Um, back three into it. Ooh, back three armor breaks. Nice. And Sub Zero's uh, Cyber Sub Slide is pretty fast. It's nine frames. And if you're point blank range, your opponent is not going to be able to armor break. Okay, that's good to know. All right. Very nice. All right, so maybe we found some use for those rockets after all. I'm just kidding. Of course, they're fucking good, man. The, the multiple hitting, they hit like five, six times. Um, let's see. All right, so the up rocket, you definitely want to use this. Oh, shit. No reversal. Get off reversal. You definitely want to use up rocket because this conditions your opponent a block in place. It allows you to go in for mix-ups, you know what I mean? Go for overhead, and it is plus on block if your opponent blocks it. There's a lot of hits done, and if your opponent gets hits by it, it's really plus on hits. So you could, you know, get a combo in really late. As you guys see, that's still comboed. That's still comboed. You know, it's very good. Um, these up rockets used to be insanely fast. They used to be faster than Tremors up rocks, but obviously if they nerf Tremors up rocks, they have to nerf Sectors, you know, up missiles. So it's fair, um, you know, especially considering if you get hit by it, it has a lot of hits done. Look at that. I was still able to get that combo. So the up rocks are good. Up rockets are good. And of course, if you meter burn it, it's going to turn into a homing missile. And that is a mid. It is plus on block, I believe. Let's see. So it says minus 12, but I, I'm assuming that is wrong because the hit stun on this, I've actually played as a dummy. The hit stun is pretty significant. I don't think you're really plus, but I think it's either even or maybe you're a little bit plus because, you know, like I said, I played as a dummy testing this out and it seems like it's, you know, very plus. So, you know, if you knock your opponent down, go for this, homie missile. You have plenty of time to mix up your opponent with the overhead or low. You could actually even do um, this and keep it safe, you know, at some distances. And uh, let's see, does that combo? I mean, can I continue my combo afterwards? That would be interesting. No, I don't think I can. That would be crazy. That would actually be a good use for it. Yeah, I think it's too... Don't go up high enough. All right, yeah, he definitely doesn't go up high enough, but you could actually make that safe if you do the homie missiles. Uh, of course, the teleport, you know, it's very good for anti-projectiles. It's pretty fast. I believe it's nine frames, right? Uh, where are you? Is it this one? It is. What the fuck? 26 frames. It doesn't feel like it's 26 frames. Um, the instant air one is... Instant Air one's a lot faster. This does look like 26 frames. It doesn't look like 26 frames to me. The Instant Air one is a lot faster. So if you're trying to, you know, punish your opponent on reaction to a, um, a projectile, you could Instant Air it. It's a lot faster. Um, of course, you could do that. You know, if you do catch them, you could uh, do this into a meter burn one. And 
then, you know, go for whatever combo you want. I think, uh, you know, Sector's Teleport is pretty fucking good. Instant Air one looks really fast, right? So, moving on here um, to the Flamethrower. Alright, so Flamethrower is down, down, three. And this is a good way to end your combos. This is what I've been ending my combos with. If you guys uh, have any better suggestions, leave them in the comments. But I find that this is the most damaging combo ender that he has. Um, other than this. But, if you do that, you cannot get a standing four, I believe. Wait, let's see. It might still be able to get a standing four. Let's see. Let's test it out. Okay. So let's try without the standing four. Let's see how much this does. Okay. So it does the same amount of damage. If you want to go for a much easier combo, you could do that. Because all you have to do, instead of running up and do a standing four into down, down three, you could do that. So, you know, it does the same amount of damage. So it's all good. And of course the meter burn reversal that Sector has is the EX flamethrower and this was changed drastically in the version that I played when I opened up the disc on the PS4 before the March 1st patch this was plus 14 on block plus 14 guys <laughs> plus 14 on block and now it is minus 12 Let's see minus 12 Minus 13, so it's full combo punishable now. It used to be plus on block, which was insane because it is an armored move. 13 frames is pretty fast, and it was plus on block, which is pretty retarded. So I'm glad that, you know, it does. it is fast. It is an armored move. It hits multiple times, and, um, you know, if you make the wrong read, you're going to get punished for it. So I think that's definitely balanced and fair. So that's it for Sector as far as... Um, you know, just general stuff. If you want some bread and butter combos, like I said, on a punish, you could do uh, 114 into teleport, standing four, standing four. I said standing four. <laughs> there you go. 30%, um, you know, on a punish. 114, teleport, standing four, forward four, three into another teleport. That's some pretty chunky damage, 30% off a of punish. If you want to do a meter burn version or a one bar combo, you can do forward four. You know, this is a 10 frame mid, keep in mind, so, you know, it's very good. 37% right there. Um, I think, you know, Sector, he doesn't have like two high damaging combos. Uh, what he wants to do is keep you out, you know, pressure you with the homie missile whenever he gets a chance pressure you with the regular up missiles you know you could hit confirm like crazy with him after the up missiles 37 percent you know it's pretty fucking good so that sector in a nutshell in my opinion uh really obviously zoning dependent um which is a lot of really good projectiles so let's move on here to cyber subs zero and cyber sub cyber sub is pretty interesting he has a dive kick and, you know, a, a combo that you guys have seen a, a lot of people use, including myself, is back three out four and dive kick, standing four into, you know, whatever you want. Standing four into the ice ball. And you could actually even, um, you know, if you free someone, you could do down, down three to call in a drone and still be able to combo. So, no, not that. This one. As you guys see, that's a typical bread and butter combo for Cyber Sub Zero. Um, if you have a drone out already, you know it, it's a little bit different. Uh, let's see. Oops. All right. So, for you guys who don't know, let me actually before I show you guys any combos, let me explain to you guys what Cyber Sub Zero's drones do. They pretty much just increase. Um, they do a little bit extra damage on ice attacks. So, for example, the fireball or the ice ball is back forward one. I do back forward one normally, he freezes. And if I do back forward one and hold one, then the drone is gonna make the opponent suffer more damage. And I believe it looks like it's 4% damage, four extra percent, something like that, um, which is pretty nice, man. Um, uh, that includes, you know, every ice projectile. The EX1, you hold it, 
does a lot of damage. Um, he has forward one, two. You hold the two and you're able to, you know, combo combo off it. Normally you wouldn't. Normally you just do that. And you can out two and one cancel it. But if you have your drone out, you hold it. And then you could go for, you know, anything else because it's enhanced. And that's pretty much what it is. It enhances your, your um, you know, attacks. So this is another example right here. This does 60% by itself. And if you have a drone on, you hold two and four, it's gonna do 21%. And that's the ideal combo ender for cyber sub. That's what you wanna end your combos with unless you're trying to set your opponent up because he does have the ice grenades. And the ice grenades work exactly like they work with Cyrax. You know, they're lows. As you guys see a hit. Um, down back two, the short one. Down down two is the medium one and forward or down forward uh, two is the far one and um, if you meter burn it it actually creates a ice puddle that stays on the, the field for a little bit Let's see ah, get out of here as you guys see it stays there for quite a bit and if your opponent even touches it then he's gonna freeze so a lot of people you know are doing some nice setups where they're doing this you know this move back one or back two is a overhead that makes you go back first and then you come back in and you know uh, if you have a drone out this gets enhanced as well does a little bit extra damage um, and you know you guys can figure out what the moves are for the drones you know it just enhances a bunch of stuff so um, like I was saying, if you do like an EX grenade and then you do this, you know, you could go overhead or low if you time it properly. As you guys see, almost instant overhead low and, uh, you know, sector was stuck right there, which is definitely really nice to have. As you guys see, just a, a simple little combo that, you know, I just made up right now. And, you know, he has a lot of a lot of stuff like that, pretty much like Cyrax. You do that, you could do your back two or your back one. And, uh, you know, just continue your combos that way. So, you know, Cyber Sub-Zero has a lot of setups and he has some pretty good offense in my opinion. I think he, you know, this is a meter burn nine frame slide, you know, like Sub-Zero. I think Sub-Zero is a little bit faster or it might be the same speed. You know, but it is a low reversal that is armored and it's really fast. It goes almost full screen. Uh, so Cyber Sub is pretty good, man. And like I was saying, you could hit confirm off your fireball with any string. You know, standing 1-1, one, one, uh, forward 2 or forward 3, which is a low, into Ice Ball. You know, you could do all that. And let's see, the unique attack for Cyber Sub in this variation is a little bit different. You cannot 2-in-1 cancel this. You cannot 2-in-1 cancel it. But if you have a drone, you can. So, you know, that that just shows you, like, the, the examples of how much of a use the drones are to Cyber Sub-Zero. So at all times, you're going to want to have a drone. And these drones don't go away, um, at least in a long time. Because I was just sitting here, you know, testing out to see uh, how long they stay on the uh on the field and i waited for like 20 seconds and i was like fuck it I, i'm not waiting any longer so you know they definitely stay on for a really long time which is really useful um so let's see the bread and butter combos that you know i i showed you guys and the one that i do that i like to do that just looks really cool is that one right here uh, it's back three up four and you press down for his um down four or down three for his dive kick and depending on if you do down and three you actually go close and if you do uh down plus four you go far away so this is actually a very good mobility tool if you freeze someone right here see i did the wrong one if you freeze someone you know you're right here very close could even do that one see you're even closer you know so i think the dive kick definitely um you know, the fact that you could insert an air it. And, uh... It's a really good mobility tool, in my opinion. For full screen. Free someone. 
babe, could do, uh, you know, could cover ground really fast. So the bread and butter combo that I showed you guys is um, back three up four, down four, standing four into ice ball, call in your drone, and let's do that again. All right. Uh, actually, I don't need the drone right now. I get my drone after freezing this guy. As you see, meterless 29%, um, and you don't even need to waste your drone right there because you guys saw me do a 29% before. You know, that's a 29% wall carry, and you still have a drone. So you definitely don't need to do it that way. I just think it looks really cool. And um, one bad thing is that if you do have your drone out, you cannot, you know, freeze someone. And then, like, for example, if I freeze him, I cannot end my combo in calling a ice grenade because you already froze your opponent. So you can't call an ice grenade after you have frozen someone in your combo. So that kind of sucks, man, because it would be so cool if you could do, you know, if you could do your bread and butter combo and then end it with a setup, you know, with an ice grenade setup. But it doesn't work that way, I guess, for balancing purposes. But I think it would have looked really cool. So... Now let's move on to some other characters here. Not other characters, other variations. Uh, Smoke, oh fuck, I forgot to put Cyrax. And Cyrax is actually the character that I've had the least amount of time with, so you know, you guys could fucking help me out in the comment section with some Cyrax stuff, but I'll put him here. Cyrax, there you go. And uh, this video is almost 40 minutes long already, so I'm gonna speed this up. Um, I wanna use player one, Smoke. Smoke, smoke, smoke. I think smoke has some of the highest damage output for like a one bar combo in the corner. You can get some pretty nice stuff. Um, let's see, he has the smoke bombs, of course, combo extender or combo starter, depending on you know what string you use. You know, forward one three smoke bomb, you know, really good. Of course, he has a spear combo extender. Um, he has a teleport, which is an overhead. It's deceptively quick. It doesn't look quick, right? It does. It looks like, oh, I can react to it, but, you know, a lot of people get caught by this because it's deceptively quick. And, you know, he has a lot of um, low stuff, low overhead stuff. You know, you could do... You could do that, or you could do this, which is either overhead or low. And it looks like you could react to it, but I guarantee you guys, you're not going to do it 100% of the time. And, uh, you know, the teleport is deceptively quick. And, of course, if you need to burn it, you get a pop-up, combo. Yeah, 32%. Um, you get a lot more than that, by the way. But just showing you guys some stuff. Um, what else does he have? He has a invisibility, which I don't find really useful because it's not like Deceptive Reptile where you could do a combo string or a block string and do the EX invisibility and stay plus or even combo it. You know, it doesn't work that way. It's too slow. Um, he has the... He has this right here, um, which makes him projectile invulnerable. And I believe he's invincible for a bit because obviously he's not on screen. And you can pass through your opponent. It drains your stamina meter, as you guys saw. Um, but you could do some tricky mix of situations with, um, with this variation. Let's see. As you guys see pretty tricky stuff um you know if your opponent's not expecting it could be you know a little gimmick that works out really well for you uh if your opponent doesn't know about it or it might be like a legit strategy i don't know because i have actually not tried this out on a person you know but it looks pretty legit to me man especially if you hit your opponent you know he has a he has this overhead obviously in the low you know so you could go for that the overhead into smoke bomb does not connect though so whenever you do overhead you either do the ex smoke bomb which is considerably faster or you do the spear if you want to be unsafe because uh actually the ex smoke bomb is plus on block so you could be safe if your opponent blocks it but you know of course there is a gap in it because any string that ends with the smoke bomb has gaps in it because it is very slow uh, so you definitely have to watch out for that um but Let's see what else does smokey smoke have he has this move right here which is pretty good actually let's look at his frame data 
Um, he doesn't have actually he he has all these combos like not not all of them are really really useful This one is right here uh, forward four down one uh, Let's see There you go. This one right here is actually a meterless, uh, you know launcher 22% This is a good way for him to get you know some meterless damage As you guys see definitely not bad meterless damage and it comes off of forward four which is a 10 frame forward advancing mid which is not too shabby and of course you could meter burn meter burn um you know at any time your teleport to try to get some more damage yeah that doesn't work anymore all right might be a little bit tricky doing the teleport i think it's definitely not worth doing the teleport if you're gonna if you actually get your opponent in this in this combo i don't think it's worth going for a teleport because this already does some pretty chunky damage meterless 31 percent you know that's a good bread and butter combo um something that also works with smoke is if you do get a 114 punish uh the one that i showed you guys with um sector his teleport does not actually go his teleport is a little bit too slow for it he, he doesn't catch up to him in time but if you do want to hit confirm 114 you could do the meter burn um the meter burn spear and you could run up and do your combos and stuff like that let's see ah he's actually plus for combo. Just doing simple stuff, guys. Simple stuff. 29%. Um, with smoke, you're not going to want to use 114. Um, you could use uh, forward 2. Forward 2 1. This is really good. You could do uh, back 2 1. This is very good as well. This is completely safe and it goes both ways. Um, you know, like I said, you could do the teleport across your opponent. You could go with the smoke bomb. You could hit confirm it into the spear. You know, you could do a lot of stuff. So, Smoke is a really fun character, guys. I cannot wait to get my hands on a little bit more. And here, let me show you guys a simple bread and butter Smoke combo. Okay, I think Neutral Jump Punch on the second part. All right, so 41%. Definitely, definitely not bad for a, you know, 10 frame mid startup. Um, only one bar. Okay. I wonder if I get the neutral jump punch, I could if I could hit 42. And this is not a hard combo at all. Oh, got him. There you go, 42% one bar combo. Uh, it, the timing, you just have to work on timing. It's not even hard, you just have to work on it a little bit. That's actually my first time getting that combo, by the way. I just missed it twice. Um, so, you know, smoke. If I could get 42 mid screen, you know, I could easily get 46, 45 and up, you know, in the corner because you do have the uh, added, you know, corner to get some more damage. So smoke is going to be really fun, guys. Definitely, definitely try him out. So now let's move on to the character or the variation that I spent the least amount of time with, which is Sector. And Sector has actually a double overhead with his back one, which is really nice because you go with this. You know, you could go with that. Overhead, low overhead, really hard to time, and he could actually get up from that. Let's see if I get a quick rise. Ugh. I know you could do, you could do down one. Ah, I didn't do it. Well, like I said, I don't have too much time with him, but you guys could see if you could, uh, if you quick rise after that, that's actually really hard to block, dude. Fuck. Really hard to block, and if you quick rise, you get a down one into something. Um, of course, he has a net. Uh, really fun, man. I can't wait to get my hands more on Cyrax, but, you know, I, I was just more interested in the other robots, man. Really, really interested in them. Um, his back two, launcher. You do not want to do back two and then uh, and then um, neutral jump punch because it's not going to work. So you want to do neutral jump punch and then back two. 
if I get the fucking timing right. There you go. And, you know, do your do your other stuff. Standing four into the net. You know, standing four into anything, really. Standing four. Always use standing four as, like, a combo extender. So if you want to connect a move, don't use forward four. I've seen some people do that. Do standing four because it actually launches them up. Um, you know, you can hit confirm that. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up here. Um, let's see. Ah. Recovery is a little bit weird. Ah. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> 26%. The worst looking combo of all time the least swaggiest combo of all time and i know with cyrax you get some pretty sick looking combos um but i'm not the guy that you want to see for that um let's see uh blah, blah, blah. he has a teleport teleport down forward four he has his bus saw back forward two or back forward three what the fuck is it what's his bus saw uh, let's see. Bust all, bust all, bust all. Uh, chainsaw. Oh, it's down back. Okay. Down back one. There you go. You can meter burn it to continue your combo. Ah! <laughs> down one into bomb. That would have been sick. Um, he has an air grab, or he has a grab. You know, you could either do it from the ground, and it catches your airborne opponent. Or you could do it in the air, which is nice because then you could do this. You know, if you catch your opponent with a jump in three, you could actually do that. You can meter burn it to get a pop up. Can you do it afterwards? You can meter burn afterwards. No, you can't. You have to commit to the meter burn. Okay. Shit. No, he went the other way. Oh man, it's gonna be actually really fun trying to come up with some Cyrax stuff. No. Like I said, the um, the recovery is kind of weird on that. Yeah, you definitely don't want to do two uppercuts in one combo, or at least you know if you want to continue your combo. Shit. As you guys see, he's a lot of fun, man. I could just spend hours in training mode just trying to come up with some stuff but uh this video is gone way too long it's almost 50 minutes guys but this is my first time like my first official time with the march 1st patch playing with these characters for the most part they stayed the same from you know the the pre-release of the game except for the standing four you cannot connect it five times leading to you know crazy crazy damage um but i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any tips for me as far as cyrax because that's the one character that i or one variation that i don't have too much experience with let me know in the comments section i'm definitely gonna learn um all these variations hopefully very well because triborg is my boy man he's really fun so that's gonna be it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you made it this far leave a comment i really appreciate it and i will see you guys next time